element of everything. That's if one believes in gravity. Wait, if one believes in gravity, but that shows how weak gravity is as a force relative to like magnets. And so, if gravity is really weak, it's going to be really hard to observe unless you have this really massive object like the, like the Earth, right? And that's it. We can observe that. And so the idea for this particular experiment was to do it on a smaller scale to be able to see it in real time instead of just having this nebulous, oh, the Earth is pulling us down because of gravity. And so what they did is they took this, is they took a massive, um, uh, relatively very big object, so like a bowling ball, except for it weighed like, I don't know, 500 pounds. And this is just an approximation. I don't know the actual values, um, but I, you can look it up towards the Yeah, so it's, um, I think it's a torsion balance, but yeah, torsion balance, um, and they did this and tried to eliminate as many variables as they could. But they took this really massive object on one side and really massive object on the other side, and these two are um, grounded. And actually, yeah. So, you're looking kind of like this, I think, right? Is that? Yes. Yeah. So I took these really massive objects, and they um, put them on the ground. So these are not moving. Then they have a free hanging, um, a free hanging kind of pendulum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's free hanging, and it's also in a vacuum. So there's no air, there's no wind that can affect this balance. And then all they did is they set it outside um, and set it um, completely still, away from these massive objects. Okay. And so, and the pendulum itself had some very small objects. And so if you think about gravity trying to attract each other, so you have this really small object next to a really massive object. And so if gravity does exist, then there should be some force of attraction that's going to pull this pendulum, right? Does, 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 does the gravity work down? Gravity works between any two objects with mass. mass. That's the idea. Is that, and so that's what you're saying, right? That is that I should be attracted to you, right? And so that's what they're trying to see. Am I attracted to you if we eliminate all the other factors? And so they took this object with very little mass next to an object with a lot of mass, and then they just waited. And what they saw is that after a couple hours, because it took a really long time, the pendulum started to swing. And it started to swing closer, right? Is this is this accurate? Am I close enough? Okay, because I'm not I'm not super sure. But what happened is the pendulum starts to swing from no other. There's no other force that we know of so that could have caused that. And so they said that this is the effect of gravity between the small object and the massive object. And so that's one of the experiments. Oh, wooden, 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 uh, <laughs> the bigger object needs like a source of like a magnetism of some kind or electromagnetism of some kind in, in order to induce the uh, that gravitational that uh, pull, that should, effect on it. No, because um, gravity is was theorized to be based solely upon having mass. So just by existing with mass, you have weight. Yeah, yeah, by, I get that, yeah. by mass, you have this force of gravity that you can exude on other objects. That you can have other objects that you act on. Cool. Sorry, so I, I know I came into this conversation no, quite fine. late. Yeah. I know I came in late. No, but you, Are you for it? No, no. Like, uh, no, no, I had these people who were cool, cool, cool. against I'm me. Actually, I'm actually in, in your camp as well. No, I, no. I, don't, I, don't. I just thought it was a cool yeah, experiment. Yeah, that, I don't believe that it. That was a really good factor. Yeah. 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 Every time I ask them for a model on this, they, yeah. they can't give me a model. Or they, yeah. All they ever say is, oh, the Earth is in the globe. Okay, so what, what, what model is it? They can't, oh, yeah. oh, we, we don't because, know. We don't know. Well, yeah, because like, oh, because they've, squ because they've squished oh, Australia over there. Poor Australia is <laughs> like. All I want is a model of that. That's all I want. That's true. Yeah, yeah. If, if they could describe them, rationale. Sorry. Just give me a rationale as to why you would lie. Why that lie? That's the only bit I don't get. Yeah, that's why true. That lie. That's why, true. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? It's flat all round. If you tell me that America's lying about bombs in Iraq, yeah, sure, there's a reason they would tell that lie. Why tell me else? Why tell me the answer if it's flat? Why tell I, me that? I actually agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, take care, guys. Thank you, thank you. I actually agree with that. Flat all round, problem still <laughs> exists on this plane. Does that actually change? <laughs> <laughs> they found that it was wrong. Oh, I'm all right. No worries. I don't care either, yeah. <laughs> I think, but I think I the main think. thing they're saying is yeah. it's not just if it's flat all round. It's, they're also saying that this is um, a contained uh, universe, we say. So obviously the way we believe it is that um, space is infinite, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're a little, a little speck. But what they're saying is that's um, not true. That this is everything. 
for this earth and the stars are much closer than they seem in the sun. So this is all contained. Like you know like those what's outside of it? Huh? What's outside of it? Well how could one know that? I'm just well, saying well, I'm, what I'm this, this is what they're saying. No, but, this is what they're saying. No, but I'm just saying that's what they would say. You know what I mean? That's what they would say. So no because to ask the gentleman he yeah, said yeah. Uh, why would they lie? It's um well how, no you said you both said what would it change? I would suggest that would change if it's true. I'm not saying it is. Yeah, that would change a lot. One second you think you're a little speck, infinite space, and actually no, this is everything. So that's what that's their main thing. Just saying. It's so, not just so, the shape. I mean, but it's you, the universe you can, uh, itself. You can buy telescopes that are powerful enough to see planets and whatnot, okay? or other, other let's say extraterrestrial things out there, right? So everything you see with, with, with a powerful telescope, that's all contained. That's what they're saying. It's all yeah. contained in this. All right. Because I, I just want to see, I just want to know, sorry, how big this container is. So no, who could possibly know? But this is what they're saying. I know. This is what they're saying. So then... But it's the same for the other model, obviously. Like, how can we possibly know the end of space in quotes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a massive but, question. Yeah, yeah, the middle end of space. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, how you can't go, like, just travel to, I don't know, Pluto. Or beyond that. Do you know what I mean? Like, how, how, you know what I mean? Like, those questions. Like, how, how do you know? How do you know? It's got to be what we can observe, isn't it? Surely you can travel there, no? Yeah. Can you travel to Pluto? Apparently you can, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, let me know. I don't 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 know that, mate. Apparently you can. Wow. Apparently you can. You know what? It's with me, right? I'm just going. <laughs> it's quite far, you know? I'm just going with. I'm just going. <laughs> let's go to Pluto, yeah, let's go. I'm I just bet going. it's cheaper than getting a train to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> And quicker as well. I'm just saying, I'm just going with what we have now. As as, 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 as as you said, after all changes, I've got no problem with changing that. I've got no problem with changing that. I'm just going with what we have now, right? The evidence and the evidence put before us. You can actually do the experiments yourself. You can buy, if you invest enough money, you can buy telescopes. And you can actually see out there, see different things out there. You can plot the stars. Yeah, but, yeah, but again, what they're saying is this not is, as far as it seems. Not, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. You're right, yeah. but what, the, what they're saying is it's not as far as it seems. But they really say how far is it? But, then but they don't know. You know, of course, we could know. Well, what I don't know. Can't get a ruler, really. Here's the problem. So you don't really space travel? Uh, space travel as in, well, I don't think we've been to the moon. That's the deepest. Put that way. Do you believe me? Yeah. This is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a mystery to us all. Nobody's ever killed the young man. So you're saying there's a piece of it? It's like a piece of it. 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 It's like a piece of Come take away every time From your yeah. Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Three. Listen. Three. Um, and, and up until the 17th century, there was a chalk drawing in Plymouth Hope, um, on, the, on the side of the hill with two giants fighting, or a smaller man and a giant. I take it you think that, that also correlates to the stories of um, 